Let's get to Jeff Flock. He's in Wheaton, Illinois. Listen, they do things differently in Wheaton than they do in Manhattan, right, Jeff? What are they expecting? <laughs> yeah. Some people actually are taking this debate seriously out here in Wheaton because this is, you know, this is Republican land. People think actually they might be thinking about who they're going to vote for for president after this tonight. In fact, you know, they're having viewing parties. They're not having the, you know, the drinking parties where, you know, every time I hear Benghazi, you got to do a shot or something. Uh, they're actually listening to what the candidates have talked to Dan Proft, who is a, uh, a conservative talk show host earlier, went in uh, and uh, saw his show today and listened to what his viewers are th and listeners are thinking about, and he told us what he thinks needs to happen tonight. I want to see which candidates support crony capitalism, things like the Export-Import Bank, and which candidates don't, and I want to see which candidates believe government can be a force for good and we just need the right people in there versus, pe versus candidates that say, no, we need to shrink the size and scope of government. They are taking it seriously. And I tell you, Liz, I couldn't find one person today who said they think Donald Trump will be in this race in one year's time. Not uh -huh. one person, even people that are going to vote for him. Interesting. Yeah, that's the Charlie Gasparino theory that he will eventually drop out. We shall see. The closing bell. Thank you, Jeff. Eight Listen. minutes away. We're off the lows of the session. You see over my shoulder, down 108. We had been down more than 135 points. Speaking of down, oil falling below $45 per barrel today. What does this mean for big businesses that don't necessarily pump oil, but use oil to make their products? The inside scoop from a top CEO who needs it in different ways. Wait till you hear what he has to say. That's next.